What is going on guys and girls? Welcome back to the Leicester City FC FIFA 21 career mode series episode number three. So in today's episode let's have a look at the calendar what we've got coming up. We have got a tough couple of fixtures coming up against Tottenham and Manchester City. That ain't going to be easy guys. And then also that's the end of the transfer window on the 31st of August. And I think that will cap off this episode for today. And then next episode we're looking at Chelsea and then the beginning of the Europa League and maybe even Liverpool. So exciting times ahead guys, exciting times ahead. But before we jump into this first match v Tottenham, I just want to go to the youth staff and hire we've already got a five star five star scout brilliant and i think we're going to send him to england for nine months i always like to scout the country that i'm managing in because it's quite realistic to get a lot of homegrown players and we'll see if there are any more five star judgments no not at the moment but when we get another five star judgment scout we will send them out all around the world to all the nooks and crannies. So here is our team for this match, looking fit and firing. We're all on, on pluses to be fair, except Windau. And we've got our new man, the boy Mason Greenwood, to come off the bench, make a real impact. Don't forget we're training him as a striker. So he is gonna be the backup to Vardy. And maybe next season when Vardy starts to go down, Greenwood will be going up. He'll probably overtake Greenwood, uh, overtake Vardy and become our main man up top. We're back at home, back at the King Power Stadium for another big match. They're all big matches at the moment, to be fair. But can we put our first points of the board points on the board this season? I think we can, you know. You know, the boys, they're fired up for this match. They're fired up, they're ready to go. They are desperate, as desperate for these points as I am. So, let's get into it. Get this through to Madison. Can he get it through to Vardy? Oh, we're, we're making making a good little attack here. Get it out to uh, Pereira. Can he get out wide? And then swing in the cross. Can someone get on the end of that? No, Larissa has got it covered. Oh, strong header. Right. Oh, can Vardy shoot? Oh, oh. oh, it's gone through to Under. Cross it in. Get your head on it. Get your head on it. Oh, we've we've started this game on the front foot, boys. Finesse shot. Finesse shot. Oh, Madison. Don't scare me like that, mate. Don't scare me like that. Oof. We're getting close. We're getting closer. We have started this game really well, I have to say. Get out, gotta block this, gotta, oh. Yes, good clearance, Soy, aren't you? <clears throat> Can we get this out to under? Oh, okay, Vardy's on it instead. Can, through to Madison, score! You gotta score, Madison! Yes! We're on the board, boys. We're leading at home. What a goal. Yes, you pat the badge, mate. Oh, oh, he fired that into the into the sort of left-hand side of the goal. Tielemans set him right up. Oh my days! Who is 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 that Davidson? San no, it can't be. Dejen. Anyway, he way overcommitted there, left it way open, and you can't give Madison that much space in the box, mate. Otherwise, he's going to punish you, Jose. Oh, he's on the board this season as well. Come on, boys, let's keep the momentum going. Keep the concentration up. Come on, let's get up this flank, Pereira. Get it through to Var. Oh, oh, that was a bit of a cheeky tackle. Come on, Tielemans, keep up with Son. Keep up with Son. No, you go. Oh, what a save by Schmeichel. What a save. Sissoko nearly equalised there, but he is 
fingertip saved that round the post. Oh, we got to keep our concentration up here. They got some quality on the pitch. Yes, we've made it to half time. We have made it to half time in the lead. <clears throat> the question now is can we capitalise on that lead and put the game beyond Spurs? James Madison with that roaring smash into the top left corner early on in the game, 15 minutes, has given us the lead here. We have got to make sure we make it count. Oh, oh, Schmeichel, Schmeichel, he is having a game and a half today. Oh, we're under quite a bit of pressure, to be fair. <clears throat> I'm just glad the goalkeeper's on top of his game today. You know what, maybe I'm going to make make change. Bit of, bit of fresh legs. I think we might bring on Mason for his debut. We'll bring him on for under... <clears throat> and that's the beauty of Mason. He can play out wide. He can also play play up top. And we might bring on... No, that'll, that'll do for now. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Here's the new man making his debut. Making his debut. Come on. Re remain concentrated. Oh, no, that was not a free kick, was it? Was that really a free kick? Oh, we'll, we'll, have, to, we'll have to deal with it. Don't, don't complain. We'll just have to get on with it. Yeah, it probably was a free kick, to be fair. Probably was a free kick, to be fair. Come on, Schmeichel. We need you. We need you here. Oh, that was a pretty wasted free kick, to be honest. Oh, how is that not a foul? How is that not a foul? They gave a foul away for that, but that's not a foul. He has completely missed the ball. He has completely missed the ball. Oh, I didn't mean for him to have that much of a heavy touch. Come on, just keep them out for this last minute. Come on, even win the ball back. Win it back. Come on. No, they can. don't give them a chance. 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 Oh, come on, ref. Yes, yes, boys. First win on the boy. board. First win on the board. I can't even speak. That is how excited, how happy I am for that win. We really deserve that. That was a solid, solid as defensive performance. And three points on the board against a very good team. I'll take that. Those three points could come in vital. Come towards the end of the season to get in that top four. Look how much possession they had. Four shots on target. Luckily, Schmeichel was ready. Ready for the uh, onslaught that we had to deal with. But... You know, we have had a few games go against us where we probably should have won, but but we didn't. And I'm just so happy that we've managed to scrape the win. However, how come James Madison doesn't have a face? Yeah, anyway, I don't want to <laughs> I get too distracted by that. But yeah, I'm just so happy with the win. I will definitely do the post-match interview, mate. Did you ever feel like this wasn't going to be your day? We knew we'd come under pressure, but we knew our defence would would hold out. How satisfied was I with Vardy? <clears throat> he deserves all credit, absolutely. He's our main man, and he's really led the team through that victory. So guys, actually, uh, just off camera to save a bit of time in the video, I've gone through the squad and allocated some development plans to certain players. So firstly, with Vindal, I have made him a defensive wide back to really get the, those defensive attributes up and also he's only a medium defensive work rate and I really like my full backs to be defensively strong and and really you know put defending first and then we have 
Wesley Fofana. He is going to be a great player. I plan to give him plenty of opportunities this season. I also, uh, well, I put him onto the stopper program again to get his defensive work rate up too high. And because, um, I mean, centre backs really should have a high defensive work rate. And then Konate, he already has like pretty decent defensive stats. So what I have done is put him onto ball playing defender to improve his weak foot a little bit. Um, then we've got Justin. I made him into a defensive wide back for the same reasons as I did Vindal to uh, improve that defensive work rate. Then Chengus Under, I uh, made him a inverted wide midfielder, mainly to improve his finishing because that game against um, Man United when he completely missed that chance. I know I keep referring to it, but if he could get his finishing up and make and make himself into a reliable finisher, that would really help us in those kind of situations. Mason Greenwood, we already have him on the uh, striker uh, transition. And finally, Harvey Barnes. I put him to a wide playmaker to improve his skill moves because it's always nice to have a wide player with good skill moves to make him... Uh, an even better winger than he already is. Okay, <clears throat> we have actually had a transfer for Johnny offer for Johnny Evans, and I'm actually considering it because I'm considering putting Fafana on the bench because I actually want to give him a real good good chance this season. So if we can negotiate to get him for maybe 13 mil plus, I would not be averse to this offer. Okay, why have I suddenly turned into someone else and I'm having a meeting with my identical twin? What is going on FIFA? What on earth? Only in FIFA. I don't know if uh, identical twins would be treating each other this formally, but okay. We'll go for a new transfer fee. Do you want to give us 14 million, mate? 14 million. Oh, 11.5. We'll, we'll go down to 13 million. See what they say. No, okay, mate. If you're going to be like that, then we won't, we won't even think about it. Being titchy about, he didn't even give us, that wasn't a negotiation. He flew all the way from from Sociedad to basically throw a strop about 1.5 million. Some some people, you know. I probably could have contributed more against Spurs, but thanks for playing me, boss. You know what, mate? I know you you're going to be great for us in the future. So <laughs> yeah, you have to ch no, I don't want to say that. Don't blame yourself. Don't blame yourself. The good times will come. The good times come with the bad, so just hang in there, mate, and you'll be a top player before you know it. Anyway, guys, we are going to get into this final match of the episode against Manchester City. Another toughie, but, you know, that game against Spurs has given us renewed confidence to go into this game and really compete. I think I'm going to have to... Bring Madison out. And actually, no, I think we'll bring Prayat in. We're going to have to because Madison's quite tired. Um, Under can come in for Greenwood. We're going to probably have to sub Greenwood on at ha uh, after half time because Vardy is pretty tired. But this team is looking looking pretty decent. We'll jump in with this and see what happens. We're away this time at the Etihad Stadium. They have had some real good times over the past couple of years, but can we come and spoil their party? Sergio Aguero, he's going to be a real threat. He's going to be a real challenge for Soyuncu and Canate, but we can deal with him. We can do it. We can do this, boys. Oh, through to Vardy. Vardy is through. Can you finish it?
Finish it, Vardy. Finish it! Off the post and in. In the first five minutes, what has got into us? Oh, I love that celebration. The competitor is coming out in him there. Oh, oh man. I'm... Vardy always finishes when you need him to, doesn't he? What a finish. Couldn't have done that any more perfectly. Couldn't have got it any further away. Yeah, we love it. Second goal in the Premier League. No, I'll save this. Clear it. Oof, that was close. Can you get this through? Can you get it? Oh, not quite. If he got that through, Undale was through. If he got that through, Undale was through. <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, save this. Ooh, they've equalised early on. We're level pegging again. Clean slate to go again. Oh, that was a good goal, to be fair. Not much we could do about that. Good through ball. And Schmeichel has been on fire this episode, but I don't think anybody is saving that, to be fair. Come on, keep him out wide. Don't let him cross. Don't let him cross. Oh, we've got it. Got to stay focused here. They've had a good spell of possession. Oh. They have punished us there. Just when we were thinking... We were, <laughs> we were making strides. They have, they have put us down. But you know, when someone pushes you down, you need to get back up, get straight back up, and go again, mate. We've still got bags of time in this game. Let this go out. Okay, back to the goalkeeper and clear. Oh, Soyuncu, what a save. What a save by Schmeichel. But what has happened there? What has happened? Soyuncu blocked it and then he just, just fell right nicely into his path. If they had scored that, I would have been. Oh, Rodri. That was a belter of a header. Went faster than a Ferrari, mate. Oh, come on, don't concede before half time. Make it to half time, boys. Oh, come on, it's past. Yeah, okay, half time. I think we're going to make some half time changes here, to be honest. I feel like we're going to make some half time changes. I think. We might. I think we're going to need to bring Madison on for Prayet. We need that creative player um, in the midfield. And maybe we'll bring on... Nah, uh, we'll leave it how it is for now. See how it goes. Maybe we'll bring on Perez and Greenwood later on. Get this through to Vardy. Oh! Oh, no. I... I pressed it a lot hard. I pushed down A a lot harder than that pass went. You know what I mean? Sometimes it feels like the odds are against you. Oh, save that. 3-1. 3-1. We're going to have to go attacking now. To be fair, they've just... Uh, you see that De Bruyne drew in Pereira. After that 
that earlier goal and that left Sterling wide open despite the desperate dive oh we couldn't couldn't make sense of that we are gonna make some switcheroonies here we are gonna I think we're gonna bring Greenwood on for under because he can play out on that wing and then we're gonna go to tactics uh, constant pressure press after possession lost no we might stay on balance the problem with constant pressure is I feel like you're you're way overexposed at the back and then you end up we'll put more players in the box and then we'll end up we'll do pressure on press after possession lost and we'll come up a bit in the depth I think we might actually go 4-4-2 Get Mason up top with um, get Mason up top with Vardy. Then we'll have Tielemans and Ndidi in, uh, Tielemans and Madison in the midfield, and we'll bring on Perez to go right mid. So hopefully this can be a bit of a winning formula for us here. Okay, apparently okay. Clear this, clear this. Okay, Tielemans, good job. Good job, buddy. Now we've got to do the same for the corner leg. Probably going to take it short. Oh, good Barnes, but they got someone else there. Oh. Oh, it's beyond us now, boys. How has he squeezed it in from that angle? How, <laughs> how on earth has he done that one? Oh, that's that's pretty poor by Soyuncu, to be honest. He just let him sort of gently dribble past him. Schmeichel should probably do better, to be honest. But, you know, we're playing against one of the best teams in Europe. You can't always have it your own way. Oh, can you get it through to Perez? Okay, okay, okay. Oi, oi! That was a bit cheeky. Get this through. Greenwood, Perez scores. Come on, we got one back. It's probably unlikely we're going to get another one, but we're going to get to four, but. Come on, back to the centre line. Perez, maybe he's he's proving a point that he needs to be starting. Come on, let's get the ball back. Yes, make a run someone. Get it through to Vardy. Vardy's not quite through it and I think he's quite tired. He's not gonna have... Oh no, not a good enough through ball. Shoot, Madison. Shoot! Preferably not straight at the keeper, but okay. Straight down his throat. Can Canate get ahead on it? Oh, he scuffed it a bit. He scuffed that a bit. Okay, let's get this forward. Get this through to Vardy. Can he score? Can he score? Get the ball back. Take the ball back. We can't do this, can we? No, no. don't high-five him. Get back to the starting position. We can't do this. We c Surely not. Surely not. Surely we're not going to level it up. Come on, give us one more chance. That's all we need. One more chance. Oh, it's not going to give us a chance, is it? Give us... Okay, is, we're not... Get forward, get forward. Get it through. Oh, we might. We might. We might. 
Get it to Perez. Oh, what a tame shot. Oh, I thought we had a real, I thought we actually might do it there for a second, but it has been a seven goal thriller here at the Etihad Stadium. It has been an absolute joy to watch for the neutral, I imagine. And yeah, Pep's, Pep's gonna take the points home, to be honest, but I mean, I think we've been a bit hard done by there. Um, advanced, let's have a look at the stats. 11, 7, 60, okay. If we're being sticklers, sticklers for the rules, they probably deserve to win that, but ah, oh, we got so close. Four shots on target and we scored three of them. Oh, Jamie Vardy doesn't have a face now either. What is going on? Yeah, Vardy, Perez 8.1. You know, maybe he's making a real case to start the next game ahead of Under with that performance. And yeah, Madison made a difference when he came on. Uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty seven goal thriller. You don't get those every day. Should Vardy's performance have won Leicester the game? Food for thought, I'd say, definitely. He was on fire today, no doubt about that. After getting the late goal back, did you expect your team to find an equaliser? <sighs> we were always in the game. Even at 4-1 down, we were always in the game. We made it all the way back and we had that last shot on target, but Perez just couldn't get the finishing touch on that so we ended up losing but it was a it was a it was a thriller of a game it was a it was a roller coaster could you have done any every anything different could we have done anything different yeah we didn't create enough chances in comparison to man city to be fair anyway guys on that note on that game that absolutely crazy game. We are gonna end this this third episode of the Leicester City series. I just wanna thank you guys so much for sticking with me and, and watching. If you're new around here, please, I would really appreciate it if you like the video, subscribe, comment, let me know how you think the series is going. Anyway, guys, I will see you next time.